Tonight, nine protesters remain in jail after police arrested them at the Cowboys game yesterday. They walked with a coffin to draw attention to the death of both of Jean. Marianne Martinez is live for us in downtown Dallas, where a protest for Jean and those jailed protesters merged tonight. Marianne? Well, Ken, demonstrators here tonight were asking why the protesters who were arrested yesterday are still sitting in jail, even though they were just simply blocking traffic. Now, that's compared to Amber Geiger. Now, she's the police officer who shot and killed both of Jean. She was in jail for less than an hour. More demonstrations in the streets of Dallas tonight. Anger over police practices and what these protesters see as injustice. Yesterday, nine protesters who were at AT&T Stadium taking part in demonstrations for Botham Jean's death were arrested for impeding traffic. They were taken into custody by the Arlington Police Department and are now sitting in jail at the Tarrant County Jail. Arlington police say they're still in jail because bond was not set up for the protesters due to changes made by the Tarrant County District Attorney in January. Quote, since January 2018, Arlington PD and Fort Worth PD are not allowed to set up bonds for those arrested with misdemeanor charges. Instead, they have to wait to be taken to the Tarrant County Jail where they can be set up with a bond. Advocates for the protesters say the earliest these nine protesters will be allowed to leave the Tarrant County Jail is tomorrow. Only in America do you get charged for a Class B misdemeanor and sit in jail for two years. Two days. Only in America can an officer kill someone and a person can block a street and get more time than a killer. Now, advocates for these protesters say that lawyers from across the country have offered to represent them to get out of jail and possibly have those charges dropped. Now, as you can see, everything has cleared out tonight, but those protesters have now moved over to the Tarrant County Jail, where they say they will stay uh, and demonstrate as well and to show support for those nine protesters who are still in custody. They also plan to be at the Dallas City Hall tomorrow morning as the city discusses pay raises for police. Officers reporting live from Dallas, Marianne Martinez, CBS 11 News.